upset that I cannot fall in love, but I guess. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. Before I get into this video, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and share because I'm trying to get my channel popping. Like I keep telling y'all, let's go. Like we hit 100 subscribers, y'all. I'm excited. I'm happy. Thank you guys for subscribing. So today's video, in honor of Mother's Day, I decided to tell you guys my journey and my experience through motherhood. So um, yeah, let's just get into this video. All right, so I guess I'll just start off by telling you guys how I found out I was pregnant because it actually is a funny story. So um, I had a doctor's appointment. I was going to get a physical done so I could take my permit test. Um, my daughter's dad was with me that day just because we were supposed to hang out and I was just like, well, we can just chill after my appointment. He said he wanted to go with me. I'm like, all right, let's go. So um, we get to the doctor, he checks me out. He's like, all right, cool, everything's good. Sign my paper. I said, um, before you leave, I wanted to know about getting on birth control because uh, I'm not on birth control right now. And he was like, well, you should um, go to the other department because uh, we only do like physicals and stuff over here. And I was like, all right, that's fine. And he was like, by uh, curiosity, are you uh, pregnant by any chance now? And I was like, I don't think so. And he was like, well, like, let's take a test to find out. And I'm like, hey, like, no, I'm good. Thanks. Thank you. And he just kept pressing me to take the test. And I'm just like, all right, I'll take the test. So I pee in the, in the little cup, whatever. This lady comes back like not even two minutes later. And she's like, can I speak freely? And I'm like, sure. And she was like, it's positive. I'm like, what's positive? She's like, it's the test is positive, you're pregnant. I'm like, no, no I'm not. She's like, sweetheart, you're pregnant. So I'm looking at my baby dad and he's like, and I'm like, I'm like, this is not real right now. Like, this is not happening. So she comes in, she calculates how far along I am. I'm five weeks and four days. And I'm just like, dog, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, I'm crying. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. I'm just like, dog, like, what the fuck? So that's how we left that appointment. So the day I'm trying to go get on birth control, I find out I'm pregnant. Go figure. <laughs> so, um... When I got in the car, my mom drove us and she was like, so how the appointment got said then? She's like, did you talk, ask him about the birth control? I said, yeah. She was like, well, what they said? I was like, they said, I gotta make an appointment. She was like, why are you didn't go make an appointment? And I was like, I can't. And she was like, go make the appointment. I'm like, mom, I can't. And she was like, you better not be pregnant. You better not be pregnant. I'm just like, I'm not pregnant. He is like a dickhead. So. She was mad as shit. The whole car ride was silent. So I got home, me and him are talking about our options, what we wanna do. Eventually we end up deciding to keep her. So that was the end of that. Um, as far as my pregnancy went, pregnancy was a breeze. Um, I didn't have any morning sickness. Um, beginning, I slept a lot. Um, my baby dad is Jamaican, so this nigga was feeding me all the time, like cooking me meals and all this stuff. And he's like, oh, my child is going to be healthy. You're going to eat. So I gained so much weight from my pregnancy. Like that's the only thing that came out of there. Like I, out of my whole entire pregnancy, I just gained a lot of weight. So um, I was full term. Um, actually, I'm sorry, before I even get there, um, my blood type is O negative. So, um, I had to get a shot at, at around 25 weeks. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but, um, it's supposed to help, um, my blood not to attack my child, just in case we don't have the same blood type. So, um, I had to get a shot for that. And, um, that was a little scary because I didn't know anything about that. So, and I didn't know that women with O negative blood types are like high risk pregnancies. I was like, that's crazy because I didn't know that. So um, that got that out the way, that was cool. Um, and that's how I found out my blood type. I didn't know what my blood type was, but um, yeah. So um, my due date was December 21st, 2013. And I had my daughter on December 21st, 2013. <laughs> I was so hyped because I know it's really weird to have a child on your due date, but I was so happy. I was like, yes, yeah, she came on time. Y'all, I'm terrible, yo. I'm buttoning in this thing because I keep forgetting things. But um, I forgot to tell you guys that she weighed five pounds, seven ounces, 19 and three quarter inches. I'm like, y'all could have just said she was 20 inches for all that. But yes, that's how much my baby weighs and how long she So um, the way that I found out I was um, in labor was that I woke up early. It was like 4.30 in the morning. I had these sharp pains. So I was like, oh my goodness, like I'm hungry. So I'm trying to eat. The 
he ain't going away. So I was like, oh shit, it's go time. Like we in labor. So um, I didn't wait. I waited until like eight o'clock to wake my mom up just in case she thought I was lying, which she did. Um, so I just got myself together. She got herself together. I called him. I'm like, yo, like we go to the hospital. It's go time. So he's like, all right, I'm gonna meet you there. I'm like, all right, bet. I ended up having my daughter at Einstein Hospital. Um, and the experience was pretty cool. Like, the only thing I didn't like, they didn't offer me to take the pictures of, of her when she was born. That's the only thing I didn't like. But um, I got to the hospital. I was six centimeters um, dilated. So I, I did good. So I'm in the bed. They got me hooked up to everything. The nurse comes in. She's like, are you all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. She was like, you're really calm to be like six, seven centimeters dilated and like you're scaring me. I'm like, I'm good. I'm like, I'm just taking deep breaths when the contractions come and I'm good. So I'm in labor, we chilling. Now I was like, oh, I might be able to do without epidural. I lied, baby. As soon as eight centimeters hit, I was crying. I was screaming. I was like, yo, the pain was so bad. I was like, I cannot take this shit no more. Run the epidural. So lucky me, I literally got my epidural at the last possible minute because if I would have waited a few more minutes, they would have told me no. I was like, thank God. So they gave me the epidural. Um, right after that, I didn't feel shit. I took a nap. I was tired. I was up since 4.30 in the morning. So I was probably would sleep for about two hours. I wake up. It's all these people up in my coochie talking about, oh, like it's time to push. I'm like, what? It's time to push. Oh, y'all drawing. First of all, I'm asleep. Can I wake up first? Thank you. So um, I pushed for about 10 minutes and my daughter, Maya, was born at 524 p.m. Um, at first, I was a little nervous because when she came out, she was not crying. And you know what that means. Something's wrong. So I was just like so scared. I was just looking at her the entire time. I didn't give a fuck about nothing else. I was like, is she good? So once they started like cleaning her off, she started crying. I was like, thank God, because I will get the fuck about this bed, even though I can't walk. And like, fuck this shit up for real. So um, yeah, my daughter's name is Maya. Um, the way we got her name was actually funny because me and her dad cannot agree on a name at all. So I just started watching movies and TV shows and whatever came on. I was just like the character's name. I was just checking, you like this name, you like this name, you like this name. And we were, I was watching Think Like a Man, and the two characters' names were Maya and Lauren. Um, I actually kind of like Lauren a little bit better than Maya, but I just asked him, did he like the names? He said he liked them both. And I said, well, which one do you like more? And he said Maya. So I was like, all right, that's going to be her name. That's the end of it. So um, I didn't like the spelling M-Y-A, so I decided to spell it M-I-Y-A. I really wanted to do M-I-Y-A-H, but her dad said I was doing too much, so I just dropped the H, and it's just M-I-Y-A. So um, I'm happy. I wish I would have named her something else now that I'm a little bit older because um, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted to have a name with more meaning to it because, you know, you just want to have more meaning to it. But her name is fine. It's Maya. It is what it is. I can't change it. So um, that's pretty much it for my pregnancy and all that good stuff and my delivery. Um, as far as my mom journey, like, I don't even be feeling like a mom sometimes. Like... It's still like people were hitting like today, like people were like, oh, happy Mother's Day. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, thank you. Like, I'm just like, yo, I'm really a mom. Like, I'm really somebody mom out here. Like, who let this happen? But um, honestly, my daughter basically changed my life. Um, at first, I wasn't motivated to do anything at all. Like school and all that stuff. I was like, I'm not doing none of that shit. Like, I wasn't, I didn't have any plans after high school. And I got pregnant like three months before graduation. So I was like, I didn't have any plans to do anything. So when I had her, I was like, I gotta make money. I gotta do better for her. So I got a job, um, good paying. Like at first I had like a little whatever job and then I, I got a higher paying job and I was cool. Got me a car, got an apartment, um, took her to Disney World. Like we be out, like I always try to make sure she has fun and has a good time and we're doing stuff and we're out and we're spending time together because that is very important to me. Like, I really love my child so much. Like, she don't even understand. Like, it's really crazy. And, um, you know, I just, um, I'm happy I had her younger. Hey guys, so I forgot to add that I had my daughter when I was 18, like right after my 18th birthday. Um, me and her dad, we didn't know each other that well. We were only together for a few months and I got pregnant. So, just had to throw that in there real quick. Cause now she's, she'll be six this year. So it's like, 
I can start doing more things for myself, which I've been doing, which is cool. But I always still make sure we're doing stuff and we're hanging out and having a good time. Like, kids don't really ruin your life unless you let it ruin your life. Um, honestly, my daughter motivated me just to be a better person and just do better in my life, which I feel like I have done and I'm still continuing to do today. So, shout out to Maya. Matter of fact, she's here. I'm about to go grab her for y'all. Hold up. Hey guys, so this is Maya. This is my baby. Excuse her hair and face. We went to a birthday party today. So, um, her hair is getting done in a little bit when I'm done this video. But every Maya, tell everybody about what me and you do when we hang out. We go places. Like where do we go? Where do we go? And where else? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What else do we be doing, Maya? We do a lot of stuff. <laughs> she be acting fake shy, y'all. Um, but yeah, we I we always doing a lot of stuff. Um, tell people how old you are. Five. When's your birthday? Twenty-five. And what's mommy saying? <laughs> I be trying to teach her some things, y'all, but, um, let me see. What kind of questions can I ask you? What's your favorite thing to do with mommy? Mm, go to the carnival. Go to the carnival. What's your favorite thing to do? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know. What else can we say? You want to talk to people about what you like to do? Go ahead. Tell people what you like to do and stuff when, um, you're at school and stuff. Mm, I do my ABCs backwards. You do your ABCs backwards? Oh, you are a cool chick, okay? My daughter is smart, y'all. Let me tell y'all, this girl is, is smart. Like, I'm so happy, y'all. I'm, I'm so happy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. So, um, yeah, uh, you wanna say anything else to the people? What? I'm gonna go on the rides. <laughs> like, go on the rides? Mm -hmm. At the carnival. Mm-hmm. At the carnival. But I don't like the umbrella because it's too hot. It was too high for you? Yeah, I thought I was crying. Yes, you were crying on the ride. You be talking to me all the time. Tell the people something about you. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You gotta look at the camera. She's so fake right now, y'all. I'm telling y'all, she be talking and dancing all the time. Yes, they were at the party. We just went to. Yes, they were. All right. Well, I guess I will probably wrap this video up. Um, thank you guys for watching. I um, hope you guys enjoy your Mother's Day if you are moms because I will have mine with me. And we're going to hang out and do some cool stuff. So thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Say bye. Bye.